Alright, welcome to this tutorial on um, how to make a simple map for Alien Swarm. So this is what we'll be creating. A simple floor with some lights. Alright, let's get started. Open up um, your uh, Alien Swarm SDK. You'll get this window and double click Hammer World Editor. Let it load for a second. Alright. Oh. Press File, New. And you'll see four windows. This is uh, the uh, 3D view, top down view, uh, side view, and front view. So in a 3D view, uh, you see nothing now. Press Map Entity Report, Go to, close it up, and you can move with the W A S D keys and the arrow keys. So back up a bit, and you'll see um, some lines. These are the axes. So this is the vertical um, Z axis. The red is the X, and the green is the Y on the left hand side, uh, click the block tool and uh, we'll make a simple floor now, for now just uh, left click and hold make a square or whatever shape you want and um, just press enter as you can see this will be our floor um, now with the block tool still selected on the right hand side you can pick textures so click browse here are all the textures in game uh, in the filter box type in tools um, click the um, tools no light so this is black square and um, make another cube which is a bit bigger, so and make it also have some height. So now press enter and go to while well it's still selected, go to tools, make hollow, and type in two. Now we have our simple map. And now we need to place make a player and some lights. So Click the uh, entity tool and click in the 3D uh, view. We just made our charter. It's Gordon Freeman. So, um, by default, it will make this um, info player start entity. So, make another one and we'll change that into a light. So, zoom in. As you can see, it's the same info player start, info player start. Right click it and go to properties. This is the properties panel, and you can pick a class. So type in light and press apply. We name it light. Naming it is important when you want to link entities together. For example, if you want to make a um, a door open when you come near you need a trigger and the trigger triggers the, uh, the door so you need to name it so you can link them together so in brightness you can pick a color you know, we'll pick uh, light blue and the last number is the brightness so make that 50 and go to maximum distance pick 200 for supply and see this uh, ball up here and that's how far the light will go so we need to make sure it's not inside the floor this is the floor as you can see so um, no. just lift it up and I'll be back in a sec alright I'm back so now we'll finish the level and um, if you hold shift 
you can make multiple of you, you or you can um, it will duplicate whatever it's selected so hold shift and drag to the side hold shift drag down hold shift drag to the side so as you can see we have four lights now so let's save it save uh, if you save it inside alien swarm swarm maps you can play it right so let's um, call it a uh, mob test save it and um, go to file press run map press ok this will compile the map and now we'll go to alien swarm and check the level out so I'll have alien swarm open uh, we'll go to main menu first make sure you have the enable developer console ticked um, press tilde type in map and then space your map name so map test press enter it will load it up just pick a character and start mission this is what you will get this is our floor with four lights and our character so oh, that's what happens when you uh, don't make a rail or something so you fall off into the black cube so um, thanks for watching the next tutorial will be um, how to open a door and um, I'll also make one on how to spawn aliens or yeah, aliens um, so see you next time and thanks for watching